Zach, I know you hate, hate to be out watching, but uh, what, what impressed you about the way your fellow defensemen played in your absence? Yeah, everyone stepped up. Uh, I said it yesterday, I forgot what I was talking to, but you know, Jake Christensen comes in, scores a big goal, uh, plays a, a good game against Jersey. Uh, Gabe Carlson steps in against Florida, scores a big goal. Um, you know, Peeker played 29 minutes the other night. Gavi, obviously, what he does. Uh, our whole team just stepped up, and, and it seems like whenever guys go down, it's it's someone new coming in and uh, and playing their game. So uh, I think our whole team, you know, played hard in those in those games I was out, and it was fun to watch. Zach, what does that do for uh, camaraderie, chemistry, whatever, among defensemen? Because there's going to be injuries, there's going to be penalties. You're going to have a different partner on any given shift. Mm -hmm. What does that do for that aspect of it? Yeah, I mean, I think um, I think we all know uh, as a decor we're, what we're capable of, and I think any night, depending on who's in, who's out, who's in the penalty box, uh, who you're playing with, I think guys are comfortable. And um, when you see guys come in and step up the way they did, I think it just uh, you know kind of brings comfort level to our group. And uh, like I said, it was fun to watch. Obviously, it, it sucks watching, but when you have guys stepping up and your team playing as hard as they did, it, it makes it a little bit easier. And, and then the obvious one, to, to come back in. I don't, you've had to be itching to get back in. It's got to be great knowing you're, you're in the lineup, especially on a big weekend like this. Yeah, it's exciting. Uh, obviously, it sucks missing games and watching, but it's part of hockey. Stuff happens. Um, I'm happy to be, to be back tonight. And like you said, it's a big weekend with... Uh, you know, we haven't played LA in a long time. It's, it's fun to see them, and obviously, obviously tomorrow with, with what's going on with Rick Nash, Felino being back, um, it's a fun weekend to come back in the lineup. Zach, with the playoff push coming up for your team, you've been through the rigors of going through that a few times. There's some young players that are going to go through it for the first time. Just, what can they learn from an experience like that, especially at such a young age? Yeah, I mean, I think. Um, I think the playoffs and, and the push to get there, the only way you can kind of learn about it is to go through it. And I think it's great for our group. You know, we're a young team. Um, we have guys that have been through it. You know, myself, Booner, Bjorki, Gus, Borchak, you know, guys that have, um, you know, had that late season push and found a way in. Uh, and I think for these young guys, it's a great time for, you know, for them to see how hard it is to make the playoffs and uh, just how fun it can be too. You know, we're winning games right now and, and we're right in the thick of things. Obviously, we're, uh, I think 10 points back, but a few games at hand, we're winning games, and it's just an exciting time of the year. So, um, you know, it's one of those things where you, you never want to be out of it too early and play meaningless mean hockey down the stretch, and uh, it's exciting where we're there right now. And, um, you know, a few more wins, you never know what can happen. So I think it's good for these young guys to, to kind of see how hard it is, see how fun it is. Um, and it's a, it's a good spot for us to be in right now as a group. Is he a, obviously, you never played with him. I don't think I don't even know if you knew Nash before he came back to the organization. Um, but how how much how aware of, of him were you as a as a young hockey fan, and how meaningful is this weekend for you guys in the room, uh, given that this is the organization's first jersey return? Yeah, um, I didn't know him at all. Uh, played against him a little bit when he was in New York and I think Boston. So. Um, just, just a little bit familiar with him that way. But uh, as a young guy and as a young, you know, hockey fan growing up, I think everyone knew who Rick Nash was. Um, you know, he was a superstar for this organization, and uh, being here and kind of realizing the impact he had on the city, the organization. Um, you know, I think uh, you don't really realize it unless you're here. And to have him back around, have his number going up in the rafters, I think it's huge for the for the organization, for the city, for the fans. Uh, it's very well deserved, you know. Obviously, hearing stories and uh, seeing stats and stuff like that since I've been here, it's uh, it's a big weekend and it's fun to be a part of it. And uh, I'm excited to watch it tomorrow and, and and be there for his night. Thank you, Zach. The t the team is uh, the schedule has been really condensed. Got three out of four coming up. You had some recent three out of four. Just talk about the importance of rest for your team, just especially coming down the stretch like that, especially being prepared for so many games in such short order. Yeah, for sure. We have to have all our energy in the games, and I think Lars has done a good job lately of giving us days off. Um, you know, I think we had uh, you know, day off, game, day off. Yesterday we had a practice, and uh, obviously we have three and four coming up, so uh, all our energy should be focused on the games, and uh, and whenever guys go home from the rink, they should get rested and, and get ready to go. Like you said, it's a lot of hockey coming up for everybody. You know, every team's going through that right now with a condensed schedule, so. Um, you know, it's one of those things where I feel like the more rested team, the team that starts better with more energy is going to find a way to win hockey games and, and hopefully lets us down the stretch here. All right. Thanks. 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 Thanks.